We are the family of God Striving to be with Him We are people of more Ready to receive our King Let's sing Oh, oh, oh Christ our Lord We are people of more Oh, oh, oh We are people of more We will learn Who else missed you? They want to see. He wants to see you all again too. Tim Tim is here. He's going to be in at the class at the beginning, and he's going to be at the beginning of class every Wednesday night. Can you say hi, Tim Tim? He can't hear you. Oh, he heard you! Yay! You okay, Tim Tim? Come down. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So tonight we want to welcome three new babies to our class. We have a set of triplets is going to join us every Wednesday, every Sunday. Isn't that nice? I got permission from their parents to mention their names. Their names are Matthias, Manuel, and Kahlo. We're so happy to have you all. Welcome, babies. And then also, we know we're going to welcome our new little baby girl, Nia. We welcome you, Nia, and all the triplets, okay? All right, so we're going to have our class. And what we're going to start off doing first is we're going to sing a song. Who did? Oh, you remember that? <laughs> yes, who did? You ready? Who did? Who did? Who did? Swan, La Jo Jo Jonah. Who did? Who did? Who did? Swan, La Jo Jo Jonah. Who did? Who did? Who did swallow jo jo Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Uh, the well did, the well did, the well did swallow jo jo Jonah. The well did, the well did, the well did swallow jo jo Jonah. The well did, the well did, the well did swallow. The Jo Jo Jonah, the well did swallow Jonah, the well did swallow Jonah. Ooh. <laughs> good job, y'all remember. Yay, you did a good job. Okay, so now we're going to do our prayer. We're going to say our prayer to God, and then we're going to start our lesson, okay? So we're going to pray, and y'all remember what we do when we pray. And then we bow our heads. 
Father God in heaven, I want to thank you so much for your son, Jesus. You sent to die for us. Thank you, Father. And we pray and hope that we can all continue to be happy to know that Jesus is alive. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, I love the way y'all listened. And you were so quiet when I prayed. We prayed together and y'all were very quiet. Thank you so much, class. You're doing a good job. You know that? Okay. All right. So our title of our lesson is Jesus Came Back to Life. But I do need to do the Bible verse first, okay? And so our Bible verse is coming from John 20 and 31. Okay, so that's John 20 and 31. We're reading over here, okay? All right, so we're reading the scripture says, But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God and that by believing you may have life in his name. Oh, glory, hallelujah. We can have life in Jesus' name. Isn't that wonderful, class? Okay, so now we're going to start our lesson. Again, I want to tell you that the title of the lesson is Jesus Came Back to Life. Can you say that? Jesus came back to life. Good job. I mean, y'all are so sharp. I'm so happy. Y'all making me happy. You happy, Tim Tim? I am too. Okay, so our lesson begins with the story of that we have talked about last week, son. Jesus did many wonderful things and the people loved him and they were so happy. You know, they were so happy. And some men who did not love Jesus, can you believe that somebody didn't love Jesus? But some men that who did not love Jesus put him on the cross to die. They did not believe Jesus was God's son. Jesus' followers were sad when they found that out. They were so sad. It makes me sad to think about it too. Okay, so after he died, his body was placed in a tomb. Remember, we talked last week about a tomb. We talked about a tomb last week, and this is the tomb that they put Jesus in. They put Jesus' body there. They put him in there, and they laid him down over there, and then they got this big rock and rolled it across the cave. And where they laid Jesus, they say it, the name of it is a tomb. Can you say tomb? I know you could. Good job. Okay. So, after he died, like I said, he was placed in a tomb. And a big stone covered the opening of the tomb. The tomb was, was, was a small cave. Jesus' body was in the tomb for three days. For three days. Three days. His body was in the tomb. But on Sunday, the first day of the week, God sent an angel to roll the stone away from the door. And God brought Jesus back to life. What a happy, happy day that was. Yes, it was. So we're happy that Jesus is alive too, right class? We are very happy. So later, some of Jesus' followers were waiting for him in a town called Galilee. And you know, like we got temple here, so you can say like Belton, you know where Belton is? Kind of like that. So he had some friends that were waiting to see him and they were in a town called Galilee. And while they were waiting for Jesus, they were fishing. And Jesus' followers fished all night and they had not caught a fish at all. Oh, they weren't happy. So Jesus, went to see his friends the next day. He went out to the beach. Jesus went to go see them. And they saw a man standing on the beach and the man told them to to write, to write to throw your nets on the right side of the boat. Throw your net on the other side of the boat and maybe you can catch something. So the, the fishermen did what that man said and they, they caught 153 fish. 
Woo! So many fish, they couldn't get them into the boat. That was a lot of fish, huh? Yes. So, John, one of the fishermen, realized that the man that was on the beach was Jesus. Peter, another fisherman, jumped into the water and swam to Jesus. When all the fishermen got to the shore, Jesus served them fish and some bread. Jesus was being real nice to his friend. He cooked for them. They had fish and bread for breakfast. Yummy. <laughs> but they were very, very happy to see that that man on the, store, on the shore was Jesus. And they saw that Jesus was alive. Jesus is alive. Praise the Lord. Jesus is alive. Isn't that great, Tim Tim? So we're going to sing our song that we sang last week. And we're going to try to get the words so your parents can help you to sing it, okay? Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in our heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that he never would part. You like that song? I'm so glad that you like it. Yay! Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pray again. But we're gonna we're gonna ask you a few questions to see if you remember anything that we talked about. Okay, so what did the men who didn't love Jesus do with them? Him? What did they do with Jesus that didn't like Jesus? You remember? They put them on a cross to die. How sad was that? That was so sad. Who brought Jesus back to life? Who knows who brought Jesus back to life? Yes, God. Good job. Good job. Yes. Why were Jesus' followers happy? Why were they happy? Because Jesus came back to life. They were happy, happy, happy. We're happy too, right? Yay. Praise the Lord. Jesus is alive. Okay, class, we're going to end our class tonight by ending in a prayer, okay? Are y'all ready? Okay, what do we do? And then what else do we do? Do you remember? Yes, that's it. We bow our heads. Kind Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for our class that we had tonight. We pray and hope that the kids will remember that Jesus is alive and they can pray to him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are the family of God. Mm -hmm. Striving to be yeah. with we are. People of more. Ready to receive our King. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Christ yeah. our Lord. We
Everything is for Christ. We are. Tell them.